Can you describe your memories of your father writing? When would he write? He wrote all the time. Um, his desk was always in the living room. I mean, originally we lived in a small apartment on West End in 71st, where um, my brother and I shared the one bedroom. My parents slept in the living room, and my father wrote in the living room. Then we moved here. Um, if we walk around, you'll see this is a large Upper West Side seven-room apartment. And when we moved here, I was 13, and I was in ecstatic that I could have some distance from my parents and my own room away from my brother. But somehow my brother and my father missed the small space because uh, my brother always wanted to go back to the old apartment. And he was, he was little. He had sleeping problems here. But my father, with this huge apartment, you know, put his desk right there in the middle of the living room. Um, with the TV that we would watch in the evening. Um, and he liked to work in the midst of things. And, and in fact, during the day, my mother was a teacher, and my brother and I were away at school. He, had, uh, he did have solitude and privacy, but he, he, he wrote every day, no matter what, um, always. Uh, he, he did a few pages, and a, a lot of the writing that he did uh, for the forwards as well as for other publications um, were serialized. So he was writing as it was being published, and he did have that deadline. Um, I know the year that he died, he, he did have a presentiment that he was dying because it was the first time that he finished the novel uh, before it began publication. And actually the first, it, it appeared, uh, a couple of days after he died, the very first, um, you know, chapter. But he was always working. It was, it was always, uh, you know, Daddy's. And it wasn't even like Daddy's writing. Be quiet, you know. We'd go about our business, shouting, fighting, playing, screaming, whatever. And he just, occasionally he'd get upset, but usually he just blocked it out. And. and about 10 years before he died, they, they got a beautiful wooden desk, a very kind of old style, ornate, uh, like a 19th century desk. And uh, he had his typewriter on there always, the Yiddish typewriter. You know, he, he typed and he always had carbon copies on onion skin and he did his notes and corrections by, by hand on the onion skin. But basically he was by the typewriter and he was always at the desk. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't that much clutter. He was very organized when it came to those things. A few fountain pens, he always wrote with a fountain pen. And um, 